What's going on YouTube world? Austin Lewis here coming to you guys with another YouTube video. And in this video, I'm literally going to share with you guys, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to coach, train, mentor you guys on where not to put your guys' ATM, what location not to install in. Instead of just showing you or sharing with you or coaching you and training you and walking it through, whatever the case is, I literally wanna go show you guys where not to put your guys' ATM. It's gonna be more of like a vlog style. We got Noel behind the camera right now. With all of the grocery stores, like being out of everything and like Starbucks, you can only go through the drive-through. I got this cold brew and it comes, I got it from like Walmart or something, I think Target. And honestly, it's not that good. So we're gonna roll into the car really quick. I don't know why I share with you guys that story, but Mr. Boss Man is what my cup says. So we're gonna get things rocking and rolling, ladies and gents. I'm gonna show you guys the locations to put in your ATMs and locations not to put in your ATMs. Let's roll. Driving around manually. I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna, we're even gonna get out and I'm gonna show you guys why this is a good location why it's not a good location. I have a couple of ideas off the top of my head. Some things I just want to like make easy for those of you that are like, man, I don't know if this is gonna be a good location or I don't know if it's gonna be a bad location. Um, you know, typically upscale barbershops are not gonna be good locations. The reason they're not gonna be good locations is because upscale individuals usually don't use cash or don't need cash. So upscale places, like barbershops aren't gonna bring in a ton of results. Locations like salons that are in higher scale uh, are gonna bring in results. But that's my take on that, ladies and gentlemen. But I, I just wanna show you guys some solid locations, what not to do, why to do it, why to do it a certain way. I truly do believe, I'll be honest with you guys, you know, most locations that individuals get or buy or or are gonna make happen, at the end of the day, like, it, it's truthfully, um, we're gonna be a little bumpy because we're in a stick shift car, so I apologize, ladies and gents, but it's all good. Um, Noah's doing a great job, regardless of how it looks, right? You guys are just gonna stay tuned for the video, the whole video anyway, so it don't matter. Um, so, like, upscale places, great. I truly do believe, a lot of questions that I get are Austin, awesome, but there's a bank or there's a free ATM across the street Listen, ladies and gentlemen, people are not going to go across the street and not pay a $3 or $4 surcharge just because it's free. Not gonna happen. Why do people use ATMs? People use ATMs for the convenience of having the ATM. What I find some gurus on YouTube saying is because there's a free ATM across the street that that person or is gonna go across the street and not use their ATM. It's not the case. It's not true. People use convenience. I'll give you guys an idea. Um, we have probably 15 or 20 strip malls, locations, they're in the same strip mall. They're in the same location. We have an ATM and a couple of them that have every single ATM is inside every single shop. But people would be like, awesome, why, would you, why wouldn't you just put one ATM inside one location and make everybody go use that ATM? Because they're not going to do that. People, myself, think about it when you used an ATM. Did you go across the street to Circle K to use the ATM because it was free? No. Wherever you were at, you paid the surcharge, you paid the fee because ladies and gentlemen, that fee was a convenience fee. That's all an ATM is. All an ATM is is just a convenience fee. So understanding that no matter where you put your ATM, Obviously, if you guys are interested in seeing where we recommend putting your guys' ATMs, I have videos on my channel that you guys can talk about or that you guys can go watch and go see what I actually believe are, are great locations. But understanding that, you know, we just are we, we just play first first base, right? We do not swing for the big massive accounts that are gonna pay us a couple grand, five grand a month, right? It's just not it's just not 
uh, reasonable, right? Are they out there? Absolutely. Do we have accounts like that? Absolutely. Now, do I recommend all of those? No, I mean, not always, right? It's high cash. It takes you longer to, longer to, to, to land those deals. But I'm gonna share with you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll into a spot, a couple of spots that I think of, that I know of up here. I'm gonna share with you guys why they're good locations. I'm gonna share with you guys why one of them might even be bad locations. But here, for example, here, for example, I'm just gonna show you guys. We are in Scottsdale. Let's do this, No, We're gonna show them. You can keep this in, in, the, in the vlog too, bro. Um, we're just gonna show them what's across the street, okay? I just wanna show you guys what's across the street. Uh, I wanna talk to you about what's across the street. We're on 68th Street here in Scottsdale, um, area code 85251. Uh, this is a nice area. It's a really nice area. But as you guys can see, look at the housing. The housing are multi-units. They are different uh, uh, locations like that. And I'll be brutally honest and brutally fl frank with you guys. I don't look at the houses. I don't look at the apartment complexes. I don't look at any of that. I just look at the area itself. This is a pretty solid area. It's a pretty solid, it's nice, it's, it's decent. But honestly, it's a little ghetto. It's nice, but it's a little ghetto. How does it, a little ghetto, Austin? Well, I mean, I drive by it every day. It's apartment complexes, it's, it's but lower rundown, it's duplexes, it's quadplexes, it's stuff, it's real estate that I personally would like to own, right? But these right here are probably in lower to middle income areas. And this happens to be a laundry mat. This laundry mat, I guarantee you, is absolutely busy all the time because people need to do laundry. And guess what will always need to happen? People will always need to do laundry. I can guarantee you the laundromat's not gonna close down anytime soon. So, as you guys can see, I just wanna talk to you guys, I just wanna show you guys this. Obviously you're like, Austin, there's a laundromat right here, but there's also a Circle K. And at that Circle K, I'll probably bet for you guys that they probably have a free ATM. And if they don't have a free ATM, listen, people from the laundromat are not gonna go from the laundromat to the Circle K. It's just not gonna happen, ladies and gentlemen. They are, and, and, and here's, here's another thing. See the, the, the place next to it? The, the, the Mexican joint, the taco joint? They aren't gonna go next door to the laundromat to use the ATM. It's just not going to happen. Now this, solid location. I truly believe this right here would generate a minimum of three to $500 a month in passive income month after month after month after month after month. You're like, Austin, why? Because of the location, because of the area, because of the surcharge, because of the, lo the, the actual business. And I mean, let's just go take a look at it really quick. That was some sick B-roll. As you guys saw, that's a laundromat right there. That's a laundromat. That location particularly would murder it. It would, it would crush. The only downside to that location that I shared with you guys or showed you guys there is it does allow you to take cards, which honestly, it is a, a upscale laundromat. I mean, that is the nicest, that's one of the nicest laundromats I've seen. Most laundromats are not like that. Um, that laundromat in particular, uh, would probably generate anywhere from $250 to $450 a month in revenue from um, uh, what that ATM inside that location. Only reason I would say that is because um, it does allow you to use a card to purchase um, uh, the $4, as you guys saw in the video, the $4 uh, fee, right? I'm gonna show you guys a convenience store, right? I think a lot of people have questions about convenience stores. Austin, is a convenience store good? Is it not great? I'm just gonna drive just a little bit down the road. I mean, Circle K is obviously simple and easy to get into. This car wash would be phenomenal to get into right here to the left of me. Um, they don't have a uh, ATM, but an ATM at a car wash like that, the do-it-yourself car wash would absolutely murder it. But that 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 location back there, that laundry mat, it would do phenomenal, right? That's a that's a good first base location. Um, it's not going to make you rich, but it is going to make you passive income, right? Um, now let's look at this. I mean, obviously you guys already are aware of AMPM, right? 
Um, I'm not even going to get out because it's a little interesting. But this AP, AP, a, AMPM right here is a saw location. It is no gas station. Uh, it is just a simple convenience store. You know, they offer beer, they offer, it is a little ghetto, it is a little rundown. So a location like this is probably gonna generate, honestly, four to $500 a month on average, right? Now, obviously the numbers that I'm ballparking to you guys are numbers that I've just seen before, right? I, I, it's not a 100% uh, chance that, that it's gonna make that number, it's just an average number, right? So great location. Now, where would I not put my ATM? because again, that's what this video is all about. Where would I not put my ATM? Again, I would not put my ATM in a location that is very upscale. Um, I would not put my ATM in a location that is very in a nice area that is a barber shop, for example. A salon, that's a totally different, um, that's a totally different ball game. I would not put my ATM in a upscale barber shop. I would not put my ATM. You know, some people, honestly, I'll drive by one for you guys, but I would not put my ATM inside a smoke shop. Um, it just does not do transactions. Most it, One, it doesn't have enough foot traffic. No smoke shop has enough foot traffic. And two, people, why would they need cash at a smoke shop? That is a question you guys gotta ask yourself. Now I will show you guys why a certain location, a certain smoke shop would do good. We'll be there in a second. Before we even show up to this location, we're gonna, I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna share with you guys why I think it actually might do pretty decent, but why I'm not willing to gamble. It's kind of funny actually, they're doing some, I can park right in front of it too. They're actually doing some uh, construction on the, on, the, on the place. So, this particular location, we can get out to know and we can kind of just show them the town, man. This particular location, before we even jump into that, I want to share with you guys uh, my thoughts and opinions on hotels. Uh, obviously, depending on hotel, depending on where the hotel is at, um, some hotels are really good, some hotels are really bad. Hotels with valet are really good. Hotels with valet that are in lower income areas, really good. Locations or Hotels that don't have valet that are in upscale um, locations, they are actually not going to be the greatest. So, um, you know, I just want to share with you guys a potential on this particular smoke shop on why it actually might be a good location um, or why it might not be the greatest location. Obviously, the area that we're in, um, as you guys can see, there's a bunch of different businesses, there's a bunch of different bars, there's a bunch of different salons, there's a bunch of different barber shops, there's a bunch of different stuff that is actually going on in this location. And this smoke shop has the potential, if it had an ATM sign in it, depending on the, 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 the foot traffic going into the business, but also depending on the foot traffic going by the business. I do have one thing that I, do, I wanna share with you guys. A lot of locations, a lot of locations, I was completely flabbergasted about what's going on over here. Let's check this out really quick, Noah. Like, why are people's, um, why are people's doing that with their, their cars? Oh, they're painting. They're painting, that's why. Interesting. Anyways, so jumping back to what I was saying with you guys, what happens is a lot of people will absolutely walk into a location based on them having an ATM. What they won't do is they won't walk across the street to go to that location to find that ATM. As long as it's convenient, people are gonna pay the convenience fee, right? You know, where I wouldn't put an ATM, it just, there's so many different, there's so many things that play the part. There's so many things that uh, dictate whether I put my ATM machine in that location or I don't put my ATM in that location. But again, it also depends on your guys' goals, right? If your goal is to hit first base, there's gonna be a lot more locations for you rather than trying to hit second and third base and second base being $500 a month and up. Um, third base being, you know, a thousand or $800 a month and up. Um, you know, if you're just trying to hit first base, make two, three, four, five hundred 500 bucks a month, um, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to find locations uh, like I share with you guys today in this video um, that are actually gonna generate you guys some cash flow. So if you guys haven't already, make sure and go thumbs up this video because it helps the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, drop in the comment section below what you guys would like to see in future videos. If you haven't already, make sure and go smash that uh, subscribe button because I definitely appreciate you guys' love. If you guys are still watching this video, shoot me a DM on Instagram. We'll see you guys in some future videos.